Hi, I'm Frank Costello, Jr., President and CEO of the Dutchess County Regional Chamber of Commerce, and I want to welcome you to this edition of the Hudson Valley Business Scene. And I'm here today with Ron Hicks, the Assistant to the County Executive here in Dutchess County. Ron, thank you for joining me here on the show. Thanks for inviting me. I want to ask you what it is that you do and what your role is with the county. Uh, well, as Assistant County Executive, probably touch just about every part of government, but uh, I focus more on planning and development, uh, public works, water and wastewater authority, our airport and our college, um, those organizations that um, deal mostly with businesses. Um, I don't get involved in health and human services, but my primary activity is, is economic development. So there's been a new initiative here in the county. It's called the Think Duchess Alliance for Business. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. The whole idea was to bring all the different economic development entities together um, under one roof to the extent that we could, but also all working under one strategy. So uh, this quarter we moved into new space. We have five different organizations, including myself, the Dutchess County Industrial Development Agency, the Local Development Corporation, the Workforce Investment Board, um, and the Women's Enterprise. Development Center, working in partnership with the Chamber of Commerce, uh, Dutchess County Tourism, Dutchess Community College, Empire State Development, um, Community Capital, and the New York Small Business Development Center. So we're all working together under one strategy. It is a one-stop shop now, um, and um, we're really excited. It took a long time to get to this point with the dissolution, the reform, and the consolidation, but uh, I think it's going to be very effective, and we're already seeing a return on our investment. So what are some of your goals? with Think Duchess, what would you like to see come of it? You know, primarily, uh, we want to change perceptions. Uh, those people who live in Dutchess County, uh, I'm going to suggest even myself, who've, who've been here most of my life, don't really know everything about Dutchess County and what a spectacular place it is to live and all the resources that we have. So changing perceptions of people who are here and also those on the outside, and then of course the other half of the marketing campaign is to market the available commercial industrial space that we have here to create jobs. There's a lot of development happening here in Dutchess County right now. A lot of stuff that's about to happen here in Dutchess County. Can you tell our viewers what are some of the big projects that you're working on? Yeah, and, the, and, and just so you know, these projects, as, well, actually you do know, these projects take, these projects take years. Um, we have over half a billion dollars in projects currently under construction or just about to be wrapped up. And then we have about $2.7 in planning and uh, permitting. And uh, those projects in include Vassar Hospitals, uh, enormous expansion in the city of Poughkeepsie, uh, Silo Ridge out in Dover, Cricket Valley Energy also out in Dover. Um, and then we have a number of projects um, that have been kind of languishing for many years, primarily due to the economy. Um, and uh, we are helping facilitate those projects to move them forward. Are there any projects here that you can talk about on this show today in particular that you might be able to announce and let our viewers know for the first time maybe they've heard? Um, well, I, I mentioned those projects. Uh, the, the, well, the projects I already mentioned, um, but uh, a lot of what we do is in confidence. Um, so I can tell you that we're targeting two different industries, data and um, aviation. And in the data center world, uh, we have Cyrus One, who, who came into Dutchess County last year. Uh, they're one of the largest data companies. And we are currently working with two other companies to get them to locate here. Um, right here where HVNN is located on the airport, um, we are working with with uh, a couple different investors to invest in hangars to create um, maintenance facilities. And as you may or may not know, we partnered with Dutchess Community College to create a startup New York program uh, and expand their aviation curriculum to include airframe and power plant uh, so that we could attract those maintenance facilities, which are very high paying jobs. And um, what a lot of people don't know about the airport um, is that we have uh, one of our largest tenants, Sikorsky, which is now owned by Lockheed Martin, they're doing unmanned research and development here for their S-76, uh, and that's a big deal. And um, so we're, we're looking to expand those opportunities and track more aviation activity to the airport. I really asked you that last question on purpose because I wanted the viewers to realize how much of this work that you're doing is in confidence with a lot of the companies uh, that you work with. 
And you know, economic development wise, the impact that this has, but it takes so many years to develop these relationships with these organizations. How long is the process with a lot of these companies? You know, it all depends on the size of the business. Um, a small business uh, can actually go through a permitting and review process um, for six to 12 months. Um, a new development, um, for example, at the end of uh, Airport Drive uh, is, a, is an existing building, but it's a new business coming in, completely rehabbing the, uh, the facility itself. The due diligence on that project took about eight months, and uh, we are probably looking at a year uh, before they'll open. Um, and if you're building on Greenfield or doing Brownfield redevelopment, um, we've seen projects uh, take as long as 10 years. So we're finally just seeing some of the fruits of your labor from when you first took your position to actually coming into uh, you know reality now for the very first time. And, and I think that's got to be very rewarding for you to see uh, being in the position you're in. I know it could probably be, be very frustrating in a lot of respects and that it's not happening right away and you want to see it happen right away and I'm sure the county executive wants to see it happen right away uh, because these are real jobs so relate this to business and residents how uh, does this long-term strategy relate to businesses and the residents how will that affect them well it creates jobs it creates rateables um, I'll give you a, a great example in the city of Poughkeepsie in the first quarter this year we've seen three manufacturers open up in the city of Poughkeepsie on the north side um, a new brewing operation and if you remember you know Poughkeepsie one of the things that made it famous was Vassar, uh, Matthew Vassar and Vassar Brewery. Um, so now we have Millhouse, who has expanded their famous brand now to a manufacturing facility on Hamilton Street. Uh, we have four state medals that came up from Brooklyn. Uh, these two businesses alone have spread the word to others in not only Brooklyn, but around the Hudson Valley, and uh, for what our marketing firm is helping with, um, two different trade magazines so that we can attract others. And we've already seen individuals f uh, expressing interest in coming to the city of Poughkeepsie. Um, and, and that just means sites that were formerly blighted or vacant becoming active. It means jobs. It means rateables. Uh, it means better quality of life. How can our viewers learn more about some of the things that are happening? Well, um, the, we, are, we can call Think Duchess. Uh, Think Duchess is our new brand uh, located down on 3 Neptune, uh, www.thinkduchess.com. Um, or you can call 463-5400. Uh, you can call me personally, um, and we'll get you on our mailing list so you can start receiving our e-blasts and uh, understand what's happening in Duchess. Ron, I understand the county has embarked on a, a major marketing campaign to help attract business here to the county. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Uh, we have uh, produced one video already, a very short video for social media. It's called uh, Think Duchess for Life, um, which we can show you in a second. But we've also we've also planned to produce a number of other videos based on industry clusters. So if you want to take a look at that right now, let's take a look at the video. That video is incredible, Ron. I, that really makes you feel like you want to live here in Dutchess County. Like you're so proud. It gives me goosebumps to think that's where we live. It's like a resort. Yeah, it's part of changing our per, of the perceptions that people yeah. have here. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you, we, we show it to people outside of the county, and they say, "Where is this? We want to be there." But more importantly, the people we've shown inside the county go, "Where is this? I want to live there." So it's it, it's it's going to uh, it's going to make its mark. It's amazing that we have these resources right here. 
are at our fingertips. We are just ripe for business here in Dutchess County. Absolutely, and that's just a minute. So you can imagine if we had a couple hours to really talk about all the resources that we have and, yeah, the, and the great attractions. Great work. Ron, there's a lot of incentives here in Dutchess County for business. Can you talk a little bit about some of those incentives and how our listeners or our viewers could learn more about some of that? Well, yeah, there's incentives uh, no matter where you go in this country. Um, they're mostly tax related, um, financial assistance, financing assistance, uh, tax exemptions, um, mortgage recording tax exemption, real property tax exemptions, but that's really not where we want to focus our efforts. We want to focus our efforts on building relationships and getting businesses in here in record time. So we have a consolidated and expedited permitting process at the county and uh, we look to build the relationship with them to help them grow and be more competitive. That's where our incentive, what our incentive is. We want to help the business, not just in the short term to get into the space, but we want to be able to have them grow and uh, create more jobs because the majority of our net new jobs, it's shown across the country, come from existing businesses. So that's where we want to focus. We have the incentives when we have to be competitive, but what we really want to do is we want to build a relationship to help them grow. Ron Hicks, thank you for coming in and joining us here on the Hudson Valley business scene. I appreciate the work that you do for us here in Dutchess County. I know your hard work is finally paying off. And to our viewers, thank you for tuning in to the Hudson Valley business scene here with Ron Hicks, the assistant to the county executive. Take care.